Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna rank all of my Glam Light Cosmetics palettes. This is in honor of their big Black Friday sale going on right now. And I really want to be kind of like a resource for some of you who want to shop the brand, but you don't know what palettes are good. Or if you just want to see, like honestly, my Glam Light palette collection, this is kind of that kind of video. Maybe this video is going to be helpful for those of you who are on the fence about some of them. We're gonna dive into it, grab a snack, grab something to drink, and let's get into this ranking. A lot of this does come down to color story at the end of the day because Glam Light's formula is really, really good. Any of their newer palettes from the past year and a half you cannot go wrong with. They really, really knocked it out of the park with that formula and I hope they don't change it. It's really, really good. I do have a few older palettes with the older formula, which I don't even think they're still available on the site, but because this is a ranking video, I wanted to include them. I didn't want to exclude them out. Just in case you do have those older palettes and you think it's similar to a newer palette, and you want to see if it's worth even picking up the newer palette or not. My least favorite Glam Light palette goes to one of the newest palettes that they just came out with. This is the Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Master palette. Now, listen, the formula is really beautiful. It's just the color story for me. I don't really wear red tones at all, and let alone red and gray together. I feel like this is such a different color story that I really have not seen, but it's not a color story that I gravitate to. Just for me and my makeup style and the styles that I like to wear, if you ask me what color I wear the absolute least, it is red. I don't really think that I own a lot of red eyeshadow palettes in my collection, but it's Freddy Krueger. I really wanted to get this palette to have it. It's like the collector in me just had to, but it is glam light at the end of the day. So I will be using this palette. It's just my least favorite color story overall that they've come out with. Next up is the Ghost Face palette. Now this is solely because of the color story. You guys know I'm not a cool tone lover, but if I am gonna wear cool tones, it's not going to fully be cool toned gray, you know? And there is another palette in here that's ranked really, really high and it is a cool tone palette. You guys are gonna see what I mean about the color story, but the Ghost Face palette is ranked pretty low only because of the color story. It's a beautiful color story for those of you who love gray tones, but for my preference, it's not a palette that I would reach for. Now the eye look that I created with this palette is so pretty like I was really shocked at the fact that a lot of these tones have like a blue undertone so it kind of pulled blue on my skin tone which I was not expecting I know myself and I know this is not a color story I would reach for over the other palettes that are ranked higher in my ranking next up is one of the Hershey special dark palettes now I have decluttered quite a few glam light palettes I decluttered two of the palettes that were in this collection I believe one was one was cool tone and one was warm tone. I just really wasn't getting use out of those, so I wanted to give them away to someone who was going to get more use out of them. Now, we all know that I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors to wear on the eyes. I feel like it's one of those colors that just complements my skin tone really, really well. But when it comes to a six pan palette, I don't find myself reaching for those only because I love options, okay? Unpopular opinion, but I love a nice, medium size palette. I do love my Beauty Bay 42 pans, but the perfect ideal size for me would be a medium palette with like 18 shades. I love that. I love having options. This palette, there's only so much I can do with this palette. The in this palette I do feel like are kind of like mid-toned and a lot deeper, so there's no, there's not a lot of variation with the shimmers, and that is Honestly, not the palette's fault because it is a six pan palette, but that's just one of the reasons why I don't really gravitate to six pan palettes like this, even though I love the color purple. Next palette is the Chocolate Martini palette. Now this is for my neutral lovers. Earlier this week, Glam Light did have all of the happy hour palettes for $9, which is amazing. Um, but this one is a nice neutral tone palette. The reason why this one is ranked a lot lower is because there's not a lot of variation in the depth. I do appreciate the shimmers in here, but I do feel like these top two shimmers are 
pretty similar to where one of those could have been an even deeper matte and I just felt like the depth in this palette just really wasn't there for me. Now next palette is probably the oldest Glam Light palette I have in my collection. I remember when this palette first came out I was obsessed with this. This one right here the cake palette. Wow do I remember food themed palettes like that is just they, oh my gosh I honestly would love to see the food themed palettes come back in their newer formula because the color stories at the time were ahead of its time. I'd love to have a food theme palette in their newer formula because this formula is drastically different from what it is now. Still a good formula, but I'm telling you, the way that they've improved a formula that was already good to phenomenal is insane. It's ranked a little bit lower in the ranking, but still a really pretty palette. And I don't even know if they still sell this one anymore, but if you have this one, there are a couple palettes that are really similar to this one. So if you're on the fence, you might not need to pick up the newer palette. Okay, this next palette is also pretty old and I know for a fact they don't sell this one anymore. This is the Red Velvet Cupcake Palette and I wish that they kept with this cupcake theme. I love this color story. I love mauves, pinks, purples. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Every time Valentine's Day comes around, I always pull out this palette because it is just so fun and it's so pretty. And it has the perfect amount of shades, if you ask me. It's like the perfect compact size. Glam Light does not make palettes this size anymore, but hey that's okay but this one's really really pretty the shimmers in here are also really stunning I loved this palette when it came out and I am not ever going to declutter this one because it is just so beautiful and I love the different variations and tones in this palette next three are from the happy hour collection so this next one is the margarita palette really really pretty but I do feel like a lot of these shades lean a little bit on the lighter colorful side there's not enough depth in here to where I just feel like with this this is just one of those one and done palettes where you just take like one of the mattes in the crease one of the corresponding shades on the lid and you're good to go but if you want to like really add depth and really smoke it out you really can't do that with this palette but this is one of those palettes that glam light has definitely come out with a more updated version of which we are going to get to in just a little bit this one is an all purple palette but i i don't know i just don't find myself reaching for this one often this one does give me the depth that I want. This ranking got hard in this position just because the rest of the palettes, I really love the color stories, but I was like, which palettes do I use the most? Which ones do I really do get the most out of? And I will say I don't really reach for this palette as often as I would like to, but I love purple and I love the different variations in here. I love the depth that I get in this palette. So, you know, overall, really nice palette. If I had to recommend one of the happy hour palettes it would be this one and the next one for sure the dirty martini palette now if you love green shadow you're gonna love this because look at the variation in this palette it is insane look at this beautiful i honestly love everything about this palette yes yeah, some of the shimmers are a little bit similar but whenever i want a green look this is one of the palettes that i reach for i i really like this one this one's this one's really good but of course had to rank the palette. Right, next up is a collab palette and I feel like they knocked this collab out of the park. I don't think they sell this palette anymore, but it sucks. But you can get this at like Marshalls or CJ Maxx. I always see this palette there. It is the Frosted Flakes palette. This is honestly one of the most perfect color stories I've seen for a collab yet. This literally looks, looks like this. The whole design of this, is literally the Frosted Flakes box, and I could not have asked for a better, more curated palette than this one. If I was being really picky, I would say that there are a lot more shimmers than there are mattes, and I don't feel like we needed all of these blue shimmers, but overall, this palette, perfect. The next one's gonna go to the Hershey's Cookies and Cream palette. This one is another six pan palette. This one I do feel like has a lot more variation. There's more variation in the mattes. Once again, I do feel like these two shimmers are very, very similar. And that's the only con that I have with this particular palette is that once you put those two shimmers on the eyes, they look kind of the same. But I do like this blue palette. I don't really have a all blue palette from Glam Light. The closest blue palette I do have is the Frosted Flakes one. So whenever I do want a blue look in the Glam Light formula, this is the palette that I'm reaching for. The next palette goes to the Hershey Kisses Lava Cake palette. Now I love 
this color story. I feel like out of all of the Hershey palettes in this collection, this one has the most variety. I get the most different looks out of it to say that it is a six pan palette. And I truly do feel like this is the one that I would recommend the most. If you want one of these palettes, get this one because you will get so many different looks out of this. This shimmer is one of my favorites. Ignore that, I did lose a nail. I really do love this one. That's why it's ranked the highest out of the others because it is really good and I really like this. So next up is gonna go to the Michaela X Glam Light palette. This is the first one. Wow, I remember when this palette first came out. Now it's been like, what, maybe two years since this palette came out. I really do feel like this color story is not the best color story for a cohesive look. And this is one of those palettes where I do feel like it's like a one and done kind of palette. There's not a lot of depth in this one. I get the idea of having like neutrals and colorful shades in one palette, but I just feel like this is just one of those palettes where if you want a monochromatic easy look, this is one of those palettes for you. There is a corresponding shimmer with all of the mattes, and I feel like that's a really easy look in itself. You can take this shade in the crease and take one of the purple shimmers on the lid and you're done. So if you like a really easy one and done look, this palette is kind of good for that. Now I don't know if this is still available on the Glam Light website, but I have been seeing this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So if you wanna, if you're ever shopping in there, Check out the makeup section. The next palette is gonna go to a Hershey's palette. Of course, I really, really loved this Hershey collection that they came out with when they came out with the two palettes. I like this collection a lot more than the six pan Hershey palettes because one, it has the newer Glam Light formula, but I also really love the color stories from both of the palettes. This one is the Milk Chocolate palette. This is such a rich, rich, neutral palette. This is perfect for all skin tones, especially deeper complexions. This is the perfect rich toned neutral palette. When I want a neutral palette, this is one that I'm always reaching for as well. I don't have too many neutral palettes in my collection, but the ones that I do have, I really do cherish them because I don't have that many, so I'm constantly reaching for those, but I really like this one. This is definitely one of my favorite neutral palettes in my entire collection. The next palette is a palette that is really out of my comfort zone. We're talking about palettes that I would I gravitate to more that is out of my comfort zone. It would 100% be the Chucky X Glam Light palette. They killed this. Look at this packaging. That is just so cool. Like, oh, this set the tone for spooky season this year. It set the tone. This one right here is just a grungy, oh, this is such a grungy dream. And I thought that th at the time, I thought this one was super out of my comfort zone, but that ghost face palette, that Freddy Krueger palette I've already showed you guys, yeah out of my comfort zone. This one's more wearable to me than those two. If you're a grungy toned lover, I definitely recommend this one out of all of the spooky palettes if you want that true, true, true grunge, but you still want the variation. Next up in the ranking is this one right here. This is the Michaela X Glam Light Part 2 palette. Now this one is a much more richer, deep jewel tone palette, and I just love the depth in here, which is why it's ranked a lot higher. I also love the shimmers in here as well. They're very duochrome-y, and I really, really love shifty shimmers. It's one of my favorite things ever. I just like that effect that it gives on the eyes, and this one has a lot of that. Like This shade called Cloud Nine is my favorite in the palette, as you can see, because that dip is insane, but look at that beautiful. I love this shade right here called Poppy. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it does have like a blue shift in it, which is very, very pretty. This palette is just a lot richer in tone, so it's not for everyone, but if you want a really nice jewel tone palette, it's a great one to have in your collection. Next up goes to a palette that used to be my number one Glam Light palette, and this is the Ice Cream Dream palette. Oh, I, ooh, I love this palette so much. And this is a pastel palette, guys. You guys know how I feel about pastels. I don't reach for them often. I went out on a limb with this one and I really was like, okay, I love the Glam Light formula and I just, I wanna see if this is gonna work for me. And oh my gosh, if you have a deeper complexion and you kind of have like a little bit of difficulty dealing with pastels, showing up true to color, them pulling ashy on your skin tone, this one, <laughs> this one will have you shook, okay? And it's actually back in stock right now on Glam Light. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I just thought this would be a fun video to do. But guess what? 
we're about to swatch some of these pastels so y'all can see exactly what I mean because I can show you better than I can tell you how beautiful these pastels are. So we have true pastels right here. Watch how they look when I swatch these. That looks purple, right? It's not giving ash. <laughs> this one, blue, okay? Look at that. Look at the pigment. Look at the color. It, they're so vibrant. They're so vibrant. Yes, pastels can be a little chalky. They can feel a lot drier. But look at the look at the look at the shades though. They show up true to color, which is why I love this pastel palette. It is ranked pretty high. It used to be my number one, but of course, something else overtook it. Kind of a lot overtook this palette because Glenlight came out with a lot this year. But yeah, I love this palette. You cannot go wrong with this palette. Anyone cannot go wrong with this palette. It is beautiful and I love the packaging. The packaging is really, really cute. currently in the top 10. So let's keep going. This next one goes to the Creeps and Crawls palette. Now, I don't know what, it, what they did to this formula, but I honestly felt like this Scooby-Doo collab was where the formula really, really, really took note and took off from there. I don't know what they did to it, but they, ugh, everything after this collection has been top tier in the formula aspect. Love it. So this is what this palette looks like. Once again, very, very deep, very grungy, yet still colorful. This is not a palette for everyone, but I love this color story. Blues and purples are my favorite things. They did come out with two Scooby-Doo collections, but I do think the first one is the best one. Next up goes to the palette in the second Scooby-Doo collab. This one, the formula is still the same. I really love it. I just feel like as far as color story, I do like that there's more colors to choose from in this one, and it's still a really good palette, even though the packaging is not my favorite. I just feel like there's a lot of like wasted space with this particular palette, but if you're the kind of person who loves Scooby-Doo, but the first collection just didn't have all the colors you like, this one's a good one to pick up aside from the packaging and the palette is a lot bigger though so keep that in mind next palette is the palette that i'm wearing on my eyes today one of glam light's newest palettes and it is the nightmare on elm street freddy krueger palette this is a grungy dream now i will say glam light does have a lot of green palettes to where you can get a lot of similar looks like you really really can you don't need every green palette that glam light has but this is a really good one if the other one i'm going to show you in a palette or two isn't for you definitely get this one if you love greens there's this palette has the depth in here it has the variation in shimmers i love it and i love my eye look today that i created so do love this one a lot more than the other palette that came in this collection next one is the hershey's cookies in cream cream i was gonna say cookies and dream i always do that Cookies and Cream palette, very different from the blue Hershey's Cookies and Cream palette that I showed you guys. This one is the cool tone palette I was telling you guys about earlier, how I don't really reach for cool tones, but something about this palette, it's ranked really, really high for a reason. It is a really, really amazing palette. The shimmers is honestly what stole the show for me with this one. The shimmers are like... Like, are you kidding? Are you joking? Honestly, my favorite cool tone palette that Glam Light has come out with to date. It is so good. And I love, I also love the mattes that they chose with this because it's just so interesting. We have like a little like creamy tone here. We have a dark chocolate. We have the depth. Like this palette is perfection. 10 out of 10 for me. Getting into number four. And number four goes to the Rut Row Raggy palette from the first Scooby-Doo collection. This palette is so pretty. I just love the variation. Every single row has like a different shade and it's awesome. Of course, I feel like with every palette, there's like two shades that are similar. These two are pretty similar to where like if you put them on the eyes, you're not really going to be able to tell a difference. Number three palette from Glamlight is a new palette. This is the Friday the 13th palette and wow, did I love this palette. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do, but it is beautiful. The look that I created with this, I enjoyed. I've had a lot of fun playing with this. I played with this palette quite a few now since 
first trying it out and every look that I've created I've loved and for a good reason it's super fun and I love it definitely does scream Friday the 13th to me I'm pretty sure you already know what my number one palette is and my number two palette so let's just let's just go through them. let's just go through it so number two goes to the Barbie palette this was my number one palette for the longest time but it is now number two thanks to the number one but I love this palette so much. This is just such a fun palette. It has all of my favorite tones, pink, purple, and blue. Every look that I create with this palette, I absolutely love. It's really fun. I'm sure you can really tell which one's my favorite shade in this palette. This shade right here called Woohoo. So pretty. Oh my God, did I just hit pan? Yeah, I'm like very close to hitting pan. I think I kind of did just hit pan just now, low key, but look at this. Sorry, my fingers are like... Look at that. It's like a duochrome. It's like purple and blue. It's probably hard to tell on camera. Are you kidding? These shades are beautiful. Look at that. Now, if you see the Barbie palette, get it. Okay, do not hesitate. Get the Barbie palette. You will not be disappointed. It is really fun. And yes, they are pretty like mid-toned and kind of deep. There's not really much like lighter pastel kind of tones, but I love I love it. My number one palette is the Rick and Morty palette from Glamlight. Yes, yes, yes. This palette right here, they killed it. And you know what makes this even more fun and exciting? It's the fact that I that we did not see this palette or this collection coming. Like, that's the gag. <laughs> we did not see this coming. They were just like, look, it's here. Here you go. They didn't, like, tease it or anything, which is so weird. But, like... They killed it. They killed it, killed it, killed it. Look at the packaging. Yeah, the packaging. 10 out of 10. They killed this collection. But this is a typical rainbow palette, yes. But it is so fun, so colorful, so vibrant. Everything shows up true to color. It's the good, beautiful, phenomenal glam light formula that I love. This palette is just amazing. I have no complaints about this palette. None. It's my number one for good reason. I love it. Every look I've created with this palette, I've loved. If this one's on sale right now for Black Friday, get it. If, if you love colorful shadows, get this palette. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Get it. That is all of my Glam Light palettes ranked. I really do hope this video was helpful in really just seeing the palettes if you've been eyeing them. I had so much fun filming this. I want to film another ranking video, so let me know what you guys want to see me rank. Beauty Bay. Uh, Natasha Denona let your girl know down below because I love ranking videos I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys uh, 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 uh.